Today I spend 100 days in Starfield and let me tell you, this was worth the wait. In a game where I could travel to different planets, moons, and even barren wastelands, I was afraid Starfield would have me feeling overwhelmed by the amount of galaxies and even planets available, but that just wasn't the case. I found myself excited and looking forward to each galaxy I would fly to, every planet that had new animals or creatures waiting for me either for a snack or to be snacked on, and even the amount of loot or places to explore in the game. I do want to mention that this video is actually sponsored by Bethesda, so a huge shout out to them for this amazing opportunity and one I never thought I would get. And so, without further ado, I spent 100 days in Starfield and here's what happened. The title screen alone and with the music coming in gave me immediate goosies. Oh, ho, ho. I'm already getting goosies from this. What the? This is such a simple screen and I love it. I really do. That's it. Okay, okay. Ooh, Starfield! Woohoo! Soul date, May 7, 2330. Argos Extractors, Mining Outposts, Moon of Vectera. I couldn't believe it. This was it. I was in game and about to speak with the first of many companions we'd come across in Starfield. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Okay. Hella. What's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to Lynn. Listen to me. But the oh, method I can move. Hello. Own Hello. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. We're at group hug now or at the end of the shift? Right now. Let's do it. <laughs> Bring her in. <laughs> group hug. Okay. Promises, promises. Seems like they have a really good relationship going though. This is so cool! Oh my god! I love it already. Oh. Oh. I should also mention that Starfield is available on Xbox and PC now. You can talk to them! Running through these veins pretty quick. Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Okay. Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Okay then. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. You got this, Troy. You got this, buddy. I don't know if that was actually supposed to happen, but I mean, cool. We talked to him and something happened. Oh, some sort of mining shaft. Ooh, can I get one? I want one. Woohoo! Look, look, it. It's a cutter. Oh, yes, please. I'll shout out when I need you. Okay. Oh, look at this. It's my turn to start cutting. I'm a good, real good. This is beryllium. Beryllium. Hello. I'm ready to. Okay. Sure. All right. So quick slot menu is Q. That's really nice. Oh, okay. So this, okay. I thought this had like a charge or reload thing, but it's good. We're good. Okay. Let's go. Ella, get the readings. Yeah. I'm gonna go first. Can I go first? I'm going first. Yeah. Spike and graph. This is so cool. I love this. Look at this cave exploration. Taken to like a really realistic level. We don't actually have a flashlight just yet. I do have a flashlight. You just have to hold it. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. I was like, why is it getting so dark? I wanna see this stuff. Look at how spooky this is. Just before finishing up, we learned about an object resonating and giving off some weird energy. We're getting close, I think. Yeah, everything is just... Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. Okay. Uh, why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Weird reading. Well, while you have weird readings, I'm going to take some of the weird crystal stuff and it's all mine. Is that a crystal? Maybe? Are you crystalling? What are you? Whoa! I do see something. Use the cutter to break the mineral deposits. Look at that. Weird how it's just the gravity is all different here. Okay. 
Don't mind if I do. Take. Ooh. I don't know if you should touch that. Oh, what? <laughs> what is that? I don't know, but I'm seeing in my my third eye is seeing stuff, I think. What the heck did I just see? Ooh, what is this? Hello? Hey, come on. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. Any of this look familiar? Any of this look familiar? What? Oh, yes! Oh, I love how they do it! That's okay, that's cool. I like that. Personal record? Wait, is this biometric customizations can be changed later by visiting a genetics facility. See, that's nice. They give you the option. Okay. Ah, I mean, it's. I like the the shadow, the like a nine o'clock thing, whatever it is called. But this one, that's gonna do. Oh, oh my God! Look at the teeth. Ray of panda, pandas, please. Ray of pandas. Let's do it. Ray of pandas. You were one of the weirdest hires I've ever had. From hacking computers to digging for minerals. You're lucky our turnover rate is so high. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. Press mouse three to switch between first and third per- Oh! Look at this! Yo! We can see our character. Sometimes. I do it fast enough. Oh! Huh. Haha, <laughs> got it. Look at him. As we were guided to follow Lynn and Heller outside the compound, my curiosity took hold of me. Or I guess like our character thing. Where is our actual inventory system status? Look at this. So we are health there, level one. Star map, skills, and oh, here we go. So our mass right now is 35 of 135. So we do have to be careful of what we take. So this is the star map. Oh, I get to look at the map. I get to look at the map. Sort of. This is where we are, is the extracting miners place. Oh, I just pressed escape. <laughs> what the fudge? Yo, can I go escape again? Holy crap. So look at the different planets. Dude, it's not even been close to a day and I'm just living up life here. Can we keep going? Yo. Can I keep going, going? No. Okay, that was it. And then skills. You receive one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill unlocks a challenge. Oh, so when you unlock that, look at that. Perform 10 sneak attacks to actually get those 10 to then level that. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, let's get out of here. I mean, I might as well just, you know, try looting everything here. This has been a good run. You lucked out being picked up for this one. Thanks, lady. Our, your name's Miner? Cool, thank you, Miner. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Uh, I like it. I like it already. I would learn that we needed to have a suit on for breathable oxygen. This is loud. You must wear a spacesuit helmet. What? Oh, crud. Oh, crud. I forgot. I took that off. One sec, one sec, one sec. Helmet. All right. Let's do this. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> what? I'm wearing a space. Jeez, I lost a lot of health from that. Okay, that's not cool. Look at this place. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Oh, something's coming in. Oh, it's coming in hot. It's coming in hot. What? Look, 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 look. Soon after, a big spaceship would fly down, arriving on the landing pad and having us meet my spirit animal, Barrett. Meet with the client. One small step. Who is the client? Who is it? I want to know the client. Visuals busy. Cool. You gotta wait until they're done talking. Okay. So, you found something? Just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing. Or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost them. Barrett? Oh, God. Uh, is this my weapon? Hold off the pirates. Optional. Grab a weapon. Oh, uh, what do you mean? Optional? Uh, yeah. Oh, here we go, guys. Are you ready? Oh, I want to see what they're... Look at this ship. Look at their ship. That's so cool. Oh. Kill him. 
Kill him. Kill the pirate. Oh, pirate's coming for me. Kill them. Danger. I'm not danger. You're danger. Your health is low, is it? Oh, God. Oh, 18 crit, man. 18 crit. What do you have? Med pack, maelstrom. Hold on. What, what's a maelstrom? I want to see what a maelstrom is. Oh, that's a maelstrom. Wait, actually. Uh, inspect sword favorite. I think it's favorite. Actually, we'll put that there. We'll put this one here. We'll put cutter right there. There's a no oh my god, there's a guy right here just like stuck. Oh, <laughs> pirate, you're dead. Credits, that's brown leather jumpsuit, yes, please. I mean, I'll take it all. Being no match for the likes of us, this is where we would learn about the constellation for the first time. A small but diligent group of select few looking for answers throughout the cosmos. Now that was some fine work on the pressure. Thank you, man. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions. Wait, he did know. The constellation. You're part of this now. A part of what? Nothing wrong with honest work. Although, uh, uh, yeah, yes. See your point. I want to get off this moon, please. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? Oh, right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay... And I send your dusty here in my place. Let's do it. All right. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo. Oh, hello. Again. Very well. Hi. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. Hello, Vasco. Are we friends now? Did we just become friends? Yup. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Ooh, yes, please. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Go, 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 go. Shields ready. The rest is up to you. Shield ready. Um. All right. Let's take off. Here we go, guys. Oh. 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 I'm doing it. I'm really doing it. <laughs> Space, the final frontier. Oh, mouse one, mouse two. Boop, 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 boop. We are in orbit. It might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. Oh, we got rockets with G. I want the loot. Give me the loot. Congratulations on surviving your first Starship Assault, Captain. Fly close. Oh, E. Oh, no way. Oh, wait. Okay. Uh, how did I... Oh, if you scroll with the mouse... Actually, I kind of like being in third person for this, I'm gonna be honest with you. The next day had me flying towards a new planet, one with a lot less life, but a planet I was more than excited to explore. Ah, we can actually fast travel. Okay, I learned it. That took a little longer than I thought, but it's okay. It's just one of those things where you gotta play around with everything and eventually you'll get there. We did it though, Crete. We have arrived Moon. in orbit. The abandoned Ooh. facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. He's on the surface. Oh wait, we gotta go this way. I'm landing at something I have no idea. This is Crete, I believe. Hello, Crete. Oh, that looks so good. That looks so good. What? Oh, the K. Hey, there's another spaceship thingy. Hello. Look at this planet. This is something. I love how there's just like the fog. It adds another layer to this. It's really cool. Bosco. Hello. What is this? It looks like a fruit. According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. In this direction. All right. This is so good. 
Oh, <laughs> I, I love how this looks. Hello? Trilobite. I'm gonna get that trilobite. What do you got? Copper, lead, and... Oh, wow. They have lots of stuff on them. Come here, you. Hey, I put the numbers on the screen. I hope that's okay. I like seeing numbers. I don't know why. Like, when it comes to a game, I really like seeing my damage. It's just this weird thing. Uh... Oh, look at the big crab. Look at the big crab. Oh. Okay. This place had it all. To the atmosphere and bad jokes to read off. Why did the chicken cross the road, huh? What's a chicken? What? <laughs> Even a little critter just doing its thing. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, oh. Kill it, kill it with fire. It's like a butthole. What the fudge? Are there more buttholes here? What is happening? The real treasure I was searching for was space pirate booty. Lucky for me, just a few rooms ahead and we would have our fight. Oh, he's running away. Can we like pick him up? Finish him. Bam. That's so cool. They will crawl away too. Wow. I like that. All right. Ooh. Oh, oh, the physical's better, but man, look at that. That just looks good. O2 is consumed with exertion such as sprinting, melee attacks, and jumping. Something I did try to learn was the lock picking mechanics. Super fun and a different way than a normal lock and key. The digi locks were needed to be lined up with the corresponding holes. Depending on the difficulty of the lock, some would have more layers and some would have less. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. We got, okay, ammo, some credits, history of xenobiology again, and oh, ho, ho, ho suppressed rattler reflex sight and a suppressor i have to use that oh oh i hit the canister i shouldn't have done that but i am not technically alive Ooh, corrosive coachman okay it's an epic shotgun oh wow i mean again i'm not using shotguns i'm trying to well, okay, with this guy, it doesn't matter. This would be the first of many choices I would come across and I would have to choose from. We're outside now. Are those bad people? Oh, crap. Me. Yeah, they are. The Frontier has a new captain. You working with Barrett or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Uh, I'm working with... Who's Barrett? That's right, I killed Barrett, so tell your pirate friends to back off. I'm with the Constellation. Uh, you know what? Let's lie. Oh, no, you see, we weren't really after Barrett. We're after that ship. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears about the frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons. But the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that okay, robot Okay, so say. they're gonna try We're to take the ship, ship, huh? Persuade, there's no treasure in my ship. Cut your losses before my people get, more people get hurt. Time to make settle systems safer place. Open fire! Me too! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Is there more people coming? Okay, yo, this robot needs to get out of the freaking way. Hello, explosives. How to kill this man. This weapon is so good. Woo, baby, look at him. He's dead. Fast travel to your ship. Press F to open scanner. Not yet. As all the pirates were finally gone or dead, we could continue back to the ship. One thing I should mention is fast travel was made easy in this game. A bit of a curb to learn, but if you had your scanner out, you could fast travel back to your ship in seconds. Excluding you weren't encumbered, of course. Back on the planet Crete once more, I figured I would try my hand at another location. Every planet had multiple locations to loot, explore, or even fight your way through. Hello, Grazer. Hello. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Whoa! Help me, help me. Look at this creature. What the heck? 
All right, let's keep going, shall we? There it is. That's what we're coming for. Ooh, these are level five. I think we could kill them. Oh, he went underground. Why is it all four? Oh, it's all the scorpion. It's the scorpion from Red. Oh my god! 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 That is the scorpion from Fallout 4, the rad scorpions, man. Holy crap, that's what that reminded me of. But looks much better and is different, obviously. Holy smokes. The level two plus pirates were easy enough, but what I didn't realize was how much trouble I was about to get myself into. Oh God, oh God, they can see me, they can see me, they can see me, they can see me, they can see me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Are we in danger still? Oh my god. I didn't realize this was like a whole pirate thing. Two things this game forced me to learn quickly was either getting sick, infected, or having a broken ankle was actually the easiest thing possible to get without care. That and I really liked shotguns. Here we go. Whoa, that was a good shot. Taking cover inside this big lab, we did find some more trouble around the corner. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Close, 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 close. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, cool. I made it in. Bunch of nerds. What is this? Hello? Oh, look at this. Plushie. We got a plushie periscope thingy. Okay. Though, as you could see here, this big orange door played the best part. Oh, that's a big pirate, huh? Can I close you? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Close. Closing. <laughs> Get some nerds. Look at you nerds. Come on, try to shoot me. You can't. I know. Ooh, I think I will. Hello, I think I win. That was phenomenal. You know, the coolest thing about it is looting. I'm gonna be honest, I love looting. Huge fan of looting. Absolutely love it. Not even kidding. You can do it. <laughs> the only problem I had, more of a personal note, was me hoarding everything. If a game gave me the option to loot everything, I mean, come on, you know? Besides that, this was the fast travel thing I was talking about. Fast travel? <gasps> can I fast travel? Please let me fast travel. My spaceship. For the love of everything. Yeah, we can fast travel. Oh, look at nighttime. Yo, that's spooky. Something else that took me a bit more to learn was the grab jump or flying to different planets. I had the hardest time learning this early on, but it was pretty simple. Click the planet so you had a view of it. Press mouse one or the action button on the landing spot and then bam, you were there. As I was learning what my next quest was, the next location did have us wanting to grab jump to Jemison. Oh. We can jump and it's gonna take fuel. Oh, apparently we can jump, I'm jumping. I'm, grab jump in three, oh, oh here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm talking about. No contraband on ship, wait for scan, entering a patrolled area. Holy crap. Level three, baby! Scan in progress. Look at how many people are here. Like, all the different ships. Yo, level 32, 4, 10, 8, 12. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it looks like we just used up all of our grab there too. Now, as much as the game did want me to go to New Atlanta, I had bigger and better plans. I mean, what the frick? This new landing spot on Jemison was dark and eerie, but gave me the idea of using my laser cutter. I knew how guns worked and the damage they did, but what about the laser cutter? Sir? Buggy? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Human death. Whoa, it's coming for me! Oh, oh. So this one has a shield, as you can see the white every time you take it down enough. You gotta take it down four times, four times, four times, four times, four times. 
Are you guys ready for? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! We're fine. Everything's fine. You guys ready for some pirating? For God? Perfect. Okay, I'm back, baby. I'm outside. Oh, that's level six. This location had pirates and robots fighting one after the other. I'm killing him with the laser, guys. Don't worry. Laser OP. Lasers are really strong. Oh, God. Okay, toxic gas. Don't like that one. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Burrito is dead. Wait, why did I call you burrito? I don't know. Yeah, this laser is awesome. I love it. I mean, it's definitely not as strong as other weapons, but for how fast we can hit it, as long as we get into melee range, ooh, it's over. You knew you'd find me. Me too, man. I'd find me too. New Atlantis, here I come. I'm here. Let's exit ship, please. Oh, I just realized what I was looking at. Oh my God. Look at this. Now, this place gave me so many more goosies, okay? Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, this is something else. I've never seen space so lively. I'm already sold with how much there is. And I haven't even done much or seen much. I've played maybe a few hours at most right now. But this is what I've wanted. This is always what I've wanted. I wanted a space game that was populated in any sense of the word. And this is just phenomenal. Look at your hair, buddy. Yo, my man. Hi there. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Hello. Hello. Hope you're not agoraphobic. What does that mean? I don't. I don't know what that means. advice? Steer clear of the well. The well. Gotta watch out for the well. Okay. Terra brew. Co Yo, there's coffee places. Although I have attempted an analysis several what? times, I simply cannot quantify humans' addiction to Hello and welcome caffeine. To I'd like to place an order. Certainly. Please take your time. I will. Uh, what? Okay. Um, all. We got a cappuccino. Okay. We got a classic, a cortado, a espresso latte macchiato. Just before starting the next part of the quest, there was no perfect time to just run around like a crazy person. I had to test up the speed. How did the run to walk ratio look? And why did his head turn every so often? I'm just kidding. Did we do it? Hey, we did it. Okay. We got a weightlifting. Rank two available. Oh, so you can only rank them up when they're available, but you have to like level up those things. Oh, okay. well, I'm going to rank this one up too. Buy them. And we got to do that one. We have to complete the rank challenge here. The one place most MPs set around mast was don't visit the well. Wait, 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 wait for me. I'm going to the well. I know you said not to, but I am. I'm doing it. Can't tell me no. Ooh, I want to go in here. Please, let me in. Yes. Look at this. While exploring, I almost made the mistake of joining up with the Vanguard. They looked cool, but my heart was set on Constellation. Or any other faction that would give me great experience. Here we are. The Lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that oh. Baron gave you. Dang, I look at the watch. messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be... Waiting for us. I said it. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> I said it. Oh, this is... Captain. Everyone will be in the library. Yo. Just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now. And he hopes you'll make this place your home. Hello, Mateo. Welcome to Constellation. Era. We have a lot to talk about. You look familiar. Would you What's happening? God, that's it. They're reacting. Look oh. at how it's coming together. Oh. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None oh. This proves they split apart. Easy girl. Look at that. Sarah here. She would be our first companion to join us in adventures. So I got a boost and oh my god, we're level 400. Sorry, four. I mean, I saw 400. <laughs> Woo! Okay, lodge key added. Talk to Sarah and everybody. While hovering around in the solar system, I was thinking of where to go next. Do I follow the quest line right now? Or get funky with it and find ourselves lost? Alright, let's exit the ship, shall we? 
You look different in a suit. I like it. All right. Suit integrity. What? Look at this place, though. We are literally on Mars. I'm exploring Mars. Ooh. <laughs> There's a spacecraft. Oh, this is so surreal. Deciding where to go next, I took full advantage of the low gravity on Mars. Now with us crouched and playing the game of you can't see me, pew pew to the head, winner winner chicken dinner. Now you did. Hi. Stepping inside the place, I somehow forgot that if I'm still crouched and playing the slow and methodical game of sneak and kill later, my companion Sarah was not. Oh, oh, oh God. You're fine. You're good, you're good, you're good. Okay, we got a space trucker pack. With everything either cleared or pirates dead, that gave me the go ahead to leave. Checking out this next location not too far from us. And now with caves, they can either be a hit or miss. But when you did find something, it was pretty magical, not gonna lie. That led me to jumping around the outside some more, having fun with the G gravity and finding a big structure. I was about ready to kill this guy too. Am I ever glad to see oh, oh good help. God. Okay, thank you. Oh. and fleet have been extorting us. I guess they could smell the credits from across the system. They're not far from here, but we're not cut out for that kind of combat. Think you could take care of them? Yes, please. Oh, God. Yeah, let's deal with them. Um, Violence is very persuasive. Get to them. Wait, I'll get them to come around. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Now with this next quest called Pirate Activity, I found myself leveling up and so much more. Oh man, stuck up top, okay. <laughs> Yo, that guy's level 10, did you see that? Level 10 Pirate Freebooter. I'm gonna kill this guy. Wait, mine, 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 mine. My kill, my kill. Ooh, got you in the face, Berserker Calibated Minstrel. Curious to see how big Mars really was, I took flight again, surveying and looking for a new spot to land. I got lucky with this massive and unknown structure out in the distance. The only thing was this raging sandstorm between the two of us. This might have been some of the longest stairs, but thankfully it did reach something I would need. More test subjects for my guns. Whoa, new people. Ecliptic, ecliptic, ecliptic. Who's the, who's the, what is that? Oh God, oh God. Close the door, close the door. Close the door, please. Nope, doesn't want to close. Door does not want to close. Are these robots I'm fighting? What is happening? Oh my god. Oh, this. Yeah, 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 this. You can attempt to hack expert locks. Pick 15 locks. All right, here we go. That's exactly what I was looking for, too. Because now we can do the expert stuff. I'm going to be honest. I thought there would be more in this. But I mean, it's cool because we did pick the lock. So that's something. I like it, I guess. I like it, I like it, I like it. Don't worry about Sarah, guys. She just had a little too much caffeine. I think you're freaking out. Oh, she's getting excited. Look at her go. Oh, look at her go. Oh, okay, you need to calm down, girl. This place did have a lot more people than I initially anticipated, but I wasn't about to complain. More the merrier for experience. And now for our next stop, Sidonia. This game is huge. I spent three days on one planet. But like, what a lovely view from Martian skies. They, I know, right? Frankly, I'm a bit surprised to find such a delightful spot in this rather drab city. Donia Central Hub. Let's do it. I'm ready. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hours without incident. Well, hey, 137 hours. That's not bad at all. Ooh. Hey, sanitation minibus. Cool. Okay, so I gotta post drawings now. That's that's fun. Who, who doesn't like that? I I sure don't. Wow, you're the first person to actually agree to do it. <laughs> Thanks. But like I said, I'll make it worth it to you. You won't regret it. It better not be all my money. I'm just saying that right now. But hey, we gotta buy the Dragon Star Force book. All right. Now I had to choose and pick what quest we would start on. Something easy. Oh, 
Oh, look at the space frog. <laughs> oh, space froggy. Look at this place. Holy crap. I'm going to try my first pickpocket. Okay. Oh, it even has like a percentage when you try to take these things. Cool. All right. I picked a pocket. Don't you worry. Time to pickpocket you, buddy. Uh, immobilizer. Oh, I leveled up again. Cool. Look at that. Bam. All right. As I made my way back to the ship, I'd have to decide on leaving or investigating this planet further. Now, this one might take a bit to get to because look at that. It is a few hundred meters out there, but shouldn't be too bad. We can fast travel if we need to. Ooh, look at it go. Look at it go. And zoom. Look at that. They're out of here. This is beautiful. Like, I know, again, it's going to be a little too barren for some people. They might not like it because of this. But it's just this type of world is one of my favorites when it's like very detailed, explorative, adventurous. And you can kind of go out and see if there's stuff to do, find stuff to do. The abandoned mines it was and that a place I would soon come to appreciate. Oh, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people. Oh, OK, you said this was abandoned. Oh, God. Oh, my. Okay, thank you. Hey, look at this place. Whoa. Now, this is a mine, and there's a lot of people attacking right now. How much deeper does this thing go? And also, where'd that, that crazy lady ran off to? Oh, there you are. Oh, wait, that's my friend. That's my friend. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh, she is going on a rampage. What the fuck is she doing? Ooh, big case. Yes. I'll just let her do her thing. She's killing everyone. <laughs> it's great. This place was massive and something I didn't expect so soon or at all, honestly. I loved what I faced and more. But with that said, I wasn't done checking out a few more things. The biggest one on my list was building and starting a base. Let me just confirm it. Okay, placing an outpost beacon allows you to build objects and structures. Navigate the build menu using Q and E. Lead required, requires power in order to function. Build a source, a power source from the power category to provide it. So this wouldn't be for me just yet as I didn't have the right materials that were needed. We did, however, have the right weapons to take on this next lab. And oh man, did I enjoy myself. There you are. I was like, where did this lady go? No way she got away. She died. While taking flight into outer space, we had a location marked and one that would take us to a new space station. This is like a, what is this, a galactic? Oh, cool, we could dock? Hold on, we could dock at the space station? Ooh, yes, please. Ooh, we're docking. Oh, this is cool, this is different, I like this. Okay. Also, why is it black and white? That's, I, I mean, I'm not complaining, it's, it's pretty cool, man, all right. Look at this, we are docked up, now we can undock, get up, or board. All I knew at the time is that I wanted to go. I wanna see what's going on here. Whoa, a lot of death. Look at this. This guy just isn't alive. There was no way I was expecting a gunfight so soon or by both opposing factions on the space station. That said, I was a little upset they didn't invite me. And you know what? I made sure to let them know. Suppressed. Ooh, this is going to be good for sneaky beaky. Oh, I want that. Yeah. All right. Sneaky beaky. What's good is this is silent. So they will never know I'm here. Hello, hello, hello. They know, they know, they know, they know, they know. That's another cool thing. Oh, I wanted to say, so when you're killing people, like when you're having like these gunfights with other people and they go down, they will crawl away until they either like bleed out and die or until you kill them. That's another really cool thing I like about this game. Oh, 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 oh. What? Oh, she's going to blow up. Wee, she went flying and then blew up. All right. Having my sight set on another location we could fly to, the forgotten mech graveyard sounded like danger and fun. Okay, there's something over here though. As we landed on the planet, it was just me, spacers, and a gunfight. While looking through some junk laying around the area, another ship was about to land close by, and that gave me an idea. It was time for Sneaky Beaky and to attempt to take the ship. I don't know if we're supposed to fight or not. Oh, they're opening up. 
I'm gonna wait for someone to come out. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is so cool! Wow, she just like killed all the other people. And I was taking out the big one. I probably should have waited a little bit longer because the ship wasn't about to get taken by the likes of us. Next time though, I'd be ready. Oh my God, okay. Jeez, goodbye. Unfortunately, without the ship to take though, I was back to clearing out more of the spacers on the grave. On our way to a nearby cave, this one would definitely catch me off guard. The types of crystals that formed inside were something if not interesting. It was now time for this abandoned outpost and to take care of more spacers. This explosive coachman we just got, where is it? 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 Coachman. Oh, oh. extended magazine, corrosive, explosive, randomly switches to explosive rounds. That is, oh, it also has a suppressor. No way. Now on to my next location. There was a ship that landed close by and in which I apparently took by accident. Ooh, satellite relay. I mean, it's letting me go in. Hopefully we can see who's here. Maybe take a ship or two. That'd be cool. Hulker is locked. Oh wait, could I? <gasps> I can unlock it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, let's see what we, okay. So this one we know is that one for sure. Perfect, here we go. People might be in here. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Oh my God, why, why? What? Hot, 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 you suck. <laughs> Hello? Hello, is there anybody in here? This is not ours, so... Can I just take the ship? Yo! Oh my god! I wonder if we could keep this one? I don't know, and I'm afraid, because I do like my other ship and it has all my stuff. So for now, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just wait, you know? The last thing that took me far too long was me trying to find my way back to our other ship. I still wanted the first one we started with, but it seemed to be quite the distance away. If I could take all this stuff and move it over there, great. Cause that ship over there was bigger and I just, I don't know, I wanna try something different, you know? But it is time to fly to Mars. We gotta fly to Mars. I need to sell stuff, please. Uh, Speed booster. Woo, there we go. How do you, we leveled up on that. Okay, how do I get out of this? Escape. With a new destination in mind, the old neighborhood ahead was the plan. Funny enough, this was actually the same space station we went to previously. I needed clues on Moera, and this would be the place for that. Time to board the, the, sh the space station. Space station. Up the engines? Oh, hello. Uh, wait, we've already been to this one. This is the one you want me to go to? Dude, we've literally been here already. Actually, what? This is the one we already killed everyone on and see, look at this. Oh, you know what? We never actually went down here though. I was planning on it, but then I was like, I'll come back. Vanguard Moira Slate. This is Vanguard Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship and I'm heading to Neptune. With another day here, I was trying to find new planets we hadn't visited yet. The first one being Saturn. Are these just moons? We can't actually go. Oh, bounty. Why is there a bounty? Landing on the planet with our spaceship now, it only seemed fitting that I overprepared myself. Now for the hard part, which was getting to and climbing up a mountainside, trying to find traction upwards as it kept pushing us off. We eventually had to run around to find our way in. But once we arrived, the sneaky bandit came out to play. I'm gonna be honest, this is probably gonna hurt me more than it is gonna hurt you. I don't wanna do it, but I have to drop these. They're contraband. I'd love to keep them. They are worth so much and I could sell them for a pretty penny if I could ever get to one because I'm still so new to the game because it's still so early. I feel like I'm going to come across more. So unfortunately, uh, yeah. Finding another area full of ecoleptic soldiers, I was ready to tackle whatever laid in front. This place was more than just big. It was massive and had way too many moving parts. Fire in the hall! Whoa, sorry, I yelled so loud. Fire in the hole! Get him, get him. Yeah! Fire in the hole! Fire, fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! 
get ready for this. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? I don't think he's ready for this. One, two, three, papaya! <laughs> yeah, you like papaya. No, you don't, not anymore. Top of bigger mountain top, there was this civilian outpost. Some people around who were taking care of the power lines. Just my luck too, because the weather started picking up while looking for the next location. Oh, lightning. Oh, ho, ho. do you see that? It's a stormy one out today. Oh, I like that. Oh, I really like that. Abandoned mine, I think we went there. Oh, hey, weight lifting. The weight lifting. We have no skill points, but increases total carry capacity by 100. Gain 50% resistance to stagger. That's awesome. Oh, look at this. A Varun Zealot. Interesting. Okay. You guys stay right there, please. I'm going inside the ship. Am I allowed to be in here? We'll find out. Med pack. Oh, there are people so in here. You ready for this? Where'd the other guy go? What the fudge? Where? Oh, we went downstairs, really? Uh, are you shooting at flies now? No, I just killed someone, you doofus. Flying back into space, this is what I was talking about. Ooh, you now have a new home ship. Your previous home ship has been added to your fleet. To retrieve ships in your fleet that you have left behind, go to a ship service technician at any major city and ask them to view the ships that you own. From there, you can cycle through. The biggest thing I needed to take care of was selling all of our extra equipment from guns to packs. So while traveling back to Sidonia on Mars, the last thing I expected would happen. Stop in the name of the law. Hello? USA Security! Get back! USA Security! You're under arrest. I've got special orders. You're coming with me. Prepare for immediate transport to our vessel. I dropped the stuff, though. You're going to tell me what's going on. I've been authorized to inform you that you're being transferred to the UC Vigilance. You'll find out more when you get there. Okay. Other than that, I'm not at liberty to divulge any additional information. I couldn't believe this. This was real. So something's gonna happen here. This looks like you part of a story. Tight. Commander wants to have a little chat. Okay. But now I was being Still, escorted towards the commander of the ship. Spice. Good or bad, I wasn't sure. This isn't a home. This... And this is me shooting my way off the prison ship. What is the vigilance located right now? Where is it? It was either we played his game or I played my own and would be locked yes. up again back in a cell. Choosing to side with the commander, we were tasked to infiltrate and get information on the Crimson Fleet, a faction I actually wanted to join from the start. So this kind of played into my favor. For obvious reasons, Sarah wasn't too happy with the circumstances because me being a part of the constellation, she was also put into a watch list. Finally being let go from the space station, we were back on our way to what I originally planned, selling our extra equipment off to vendors in Sidonia. Finally, I can sell. Oh my god, guys. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for this. All this moments here. Oh my god, thank you. And they have 11,000, I'm gonna take all of it. Look at how much money, or sorry, look at how many credits we have. 85,000. Again, I don't know if that is a lot. It's probably not. But to me, man, it is. Getting into the Crimson Fleet wasn't too hard, and most of what was asked of us seemed pretty tame. We just had to make sure someone paid their tap. Ooh, promise? I'm tired of playing these games. I've had enough of this. Because we're trying to play the side of the Constellation, whatever that means, if it's good or bad, I'm gonna be on the side that doesn't strictly go out to killing people. People like this, where they're just like citizen bystanders. I guess I'll help. Holy crap. Really? You do that for me? Wow. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Ah, uh, here you go. There. Would you look at that? I knew that bum was holding out on me. The next part of this quest would have us flying back out into space, rendezvousing with the Astrea. Hello, hello. I hear Adler thinks you're good enough to join our crew. Oh yeah, I am. Let's do it. That's what I'm here for. Damn right I am. Adler said that. I didn't know he's scared. <laughs> you bet your life on that? Because the only way out of our organization is with a warhead up your grab drive. That sounds hot. So, that sounds pretty hot. Yeah! Oh, I can do dead. Let's do dead. Finding the Regano was easy and pretty straightforward. You couldn't miss the ship. What was difficult about this next part had me almost biting my nails. 
don't know who's listening over comms. This is safer. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't any real loot on board. Just tell me which one to use, Austin Rake. To persuade a person, you need to make successful choices. Choices can range from kind words, distractions, to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance the choice fails, but the more points you'll earn when you succeed. You have a li limited number of choices you can make, but you never fail if your last choice succeeded. Did it su Oh my god. I do not have to know. Oh god, are we just fighting? Kill Austin Reich, okay. Well, I gave you an option. Rake was your target. I didn't sign onto this voyage to take part in mass murder. This was the only reload I made throughout the entirety of the game, and not for my death either, but theirs. I thought killing everyone would make the quest easier to deal with, but it only did the opposite. Taking what we knew and delivering that information back to Estrella, unfortunately for the ship, it was being bombarded by ecolyptic faction. Target practice, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. We can literally sit idle in space and be in our thing. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Okay, so it says our cargo. Can we get rid of dead bodies? Is that a thing, man? Entering Neptune's system, Sarah noticed something out in the distance. Wait, you see that? There's a ship just drifting out there. No time to take in the sights. That could be our vanguard. All right, here we go. You're gonna, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. Ah, so that's how you do it. Okay, so we gotta target them first. We gotta lock on then target engines. Finding and meeting Otero was exactly who we needed to get what we wanted. What are you doing? It's like we're all in one piece. She's freaking out. Any day you walk away from, right? Don't mind her, guys. She's just doing her thing, okay? Hey, I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Ta -da. The lodge. You got it. Lodge it. Oh, you mean like the place, the lodge, the lodge. Okay. The only thing left to do now was take this artifact back to the lodge on Jemison, a grav jump or two, and then it was smooth sailing. Talk to the bartender at Viewport? This man just came by and started talking and we got a mission. What? Oh, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what I was really curious about is if it was possible to buy a new ship or even upgrade ours. The biggest thing I'd forgot about for most of my playthrough in Starfield was the amount of helpful skills using crafting and engineering. The last thing I wanted to do for the night was check yes. in with the scientist we left by the tree some days ago. Do, do, do. Wait, what am I supposed to be doing? And just another moment. Cool. Okay, we're just waiting, guys. Waiting for something to happen. I don't it know. Is working, isn't it? Should be. Uh, there it is. Relief. Something happening. Hello. Oh my. You want to tell me what's going? What's going on? Speak to Kelton. Okay, buddy. Since I started a bunch of side quests, I felt like there would be no time like the present to finish the rest of them up. What only took me a few days would go by quickly. Most of the quests either asked for us to retrieve valuable information or then deliver certain packages to specific people. Venturing off again, it was time to finish up part of the quest line with Noel and find a room to call home while being part of the Constellation family. Choosing to check out the mission board for the Constellation, I wasn't sure where to go next from here. The quest read as so, to locate the Belied bombardment, but what I didn't know was how difficult this was actually going to be. You see, once we arrived on the planet it called for, we would need to scour the entire place and search for something to scan. It even told us to open up base building for a bit and add a few solar panels, then see if the range could reach just that. Sadly, it did not. To take my mind off how long this quest would actually take us, I needed a way to distress and cool off. Too late, you can't secure anything while you're dead. Okay, sneak attack. Look at that, bam. Come on. I need someone to sneaky beaky over here. Or, well, no, not you, Sneaky Beaky, but like you go, and I'll. I'll Sneaky Beaky. Come on. Open, 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 open. Oh, he's gonna blow up. Okay, okay. Cool, there we go. Look at that. Bam, bam. 
Fire grenade. The best part about all this was having stronger damage and sneak. I felt overly powered with my entire kit. Going around some more in hopes to find this element or material to scan, we needed to get off this planet and, and head to another. Did that really just happen? Getting an SOS call in space, I needed to check on the problem planet side and see if we could help them. So let me get this straight. You heard a distress call and you flew. What are you, some sort of priest or good Samaritan? Unfortunately for me, we didn't put any points into our ship or having anything upgraded, so trying to fight this next space battle wouldn't go as we planned. Stuck on another planet today, I had to make the most of the day and see if we could find ourselves another abandoned mine. Luck would have it, as we had just that right in front of us. Me with my sneaking and killing people would make it all complete. Oh yes, it would. Something I did want to do eventually was upgrade or mod our weapons, but without the right material on us or in our spaceship, things weren't looking good. My greatest strength in any video game I played was finding its flaws or things the majority of people didn't like and genuinely enjoy them for myself. I mean, where else was I going to jump around and have this much fun in space? My favorite weapon here, the Stealth Equinox, definitely served a greater purpose today. Oh, I can hide forever because then it goes to caution and then it goes... Oh my god. Not so different from our last moon, but what I found not of the usual pick was this bionics lab. These are level 20. Oh my god. But this weapon is really good. Are we cool? Uh, <laughs> are we cool? Alright, Rover. I would have killed you already. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, we joined the pirate fleet. Hmm, interesting. Alright, that's good to know. What did take me back here was us traveling to the planet the game started us on. It seemed Lynn companionship was finally calling upon us. Don't get me wrong, I do eventually go back for her, but all in due time. As I flew back off into space, the next quest would have us traveling to find Hyperia. That takes me back to like Borderland days. He's Louise, okay. Hyperia, where are you? Oh, is this Hyperia? This planet did have quite a bit on it and even a ship for me to try and steal. Oh, we could take the ship actually. All right, this is where we got to finish them. All right, my ship now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're not the pilot of this? Oh, come on. Well, she's dead. My bad. Okay, I guess not. I guess that's not a thing. Alrighty. Not too far from that was another outpost of sorts with spacers. I definitely made easy work of it. Lastly, the whole plan for this mission was rescuing our friends Heller and Barrett. Ooh, wow. Look at this site. Damn, they really did crash. Like, it's pretty far gone here. Hopefully, oh my god. Oh, Heller. Hey, it's you. And here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Mmm. Hold still, let me patch you up. I'm a hallucination. Oh, God. <laughs> That's funny. I love that. Taking Heller with us, there was no better person to complete this team with than Lynn herself. Find Barrett's. Oh, wow. It's actually going into like a full on crew thing now. You know what? I might go get Sarah after too. So that was the plan. Traveling back to Argos and finally getting her to join our band of mischiefs. All right. So who's ready for some fun? A lot of yelling and more fun. This planet was all that and so much more for me. The course was set to a planet called Altair 3 and a planet I would never forget. Sweet. Okay. They, they do stay in the ship. It's just me right now. Oh, I like that. That's really nice. There is quite a few things here. Holy smokes. And we're going out. Wait, this way. Hold on. What is it? You see that? Hunting bright. Oh, there's spiders. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there's spiders. There's spiders. There's spiders. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. I'm 
taking this, I'm taking this, I'm taking this, I'm taking this, I'm taking this, I'm taking this, I'm taking this. I need stronger weapons, man. That is not cool. It's also that time in the video, and if you made it this far, comment Star Lord down below. Can I just say how happy I was to finally see that dang sun? But I need to get one of those things to come after us again. Just one. I want to try to take a picture of it. Okay, I got to take a picture here. Please don't kill me. You ready, guys? Here we go. Uh, like, why did it have to be spiders, though, of all things, you know? I did come across a few more creatures of a different spider vein, but nothing compared to those that attacked us at night. Sure enough, though, as I found this cave in front of me, we would have another problem on our hands. Are you kidding me? There's just a person who's alive? Oh, what? Yo, look at this, a survivalist. What the fudge? Uh, hello? Oh God, can you help me, please? I need to get to my ship, and I can't do it alone. We got attacked by some local predators. I managed to bunker down here, but now I have no way out. I got you. You stay right there. I'm gonna pull this one in. Look at that, level 13. Woo! We did it, guys. Another level. This place is kind of like, I mean, the experience is great. Planet, I hate. I hate this planet. Hate it with passion. Don't like spiders. Okay, I don't know if this guy is alive or not. Like Inside this industrial depot, nothing was found. That left me leaving the place behind and finding something just over the hedges. I don't know if I want to be here. This looks like something that, I mean, might kill me. But it also looks like a, a luscious, like, green radiated forest. And I mean, I'm all about that too. Unexplored chemistry. There's literally three spiders right there. Uh, all right, let's try killing these spooders. I gotta get up on a rock because that's the only way we're gonna win this. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Kill you first. Ugh. The big one. It's the big one. It's the big one. I like how they try to duke. Duke? Dodge? Whatever. <laughs> duke and dodge. Doc and douche. I don't know what I'm saying right now, but you know, you know what I mean. Alright. <laughs> While the day shined bright here, so did these red rocks. That was my cue to get off this planet for good and try to find another, more safer planet. Solitaire 2 it was and to a science outpost. I wasn't expecting to see anyone else out here. Hello. Oh, uh, there's a bunch of gas thingies and where's my ship at? Hello? Today would be the quickest two days ever as I just needed a place to land and somewhere to sell all my junk to. Now I was ready to take my ship back to Altair 2 and just pray. Slowly making my way towards this quest up ahead, it asked for me to be quiet and stealthy. I truly did try my best here, but they kept catching me for some odd reason. As I was trying to leave the planet peacefully, it seemed bounty hunters of all sorts followed me just the same. I needed a new place and to quickly grab jump away. This right here was the closest of calls. No, 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 don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me out of it. No, please. I think we made it. I think we made it. Oh, 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 I think we made it. Thank goodness. Okay. I can't do any ship battle fights because it's just not happening. Oh my god, this was huge. What the fudge? It seemed the commander had more at play too and that he actually had a ship of his own. Was I wasn't sure if I should hug him or kiss him. So Taking to the captain's seat, I was thinking about searching for the key and following the quest. Is that what I actually did though? No. No, not at all. I visited a planet called Vesta, dealing with more pirate activity than I bargained for. They walked me right in, so I could take the leader and walk myself out. Defeat the Crimson Fleet in the desert. We have to kill him now? Just, just kill him right now. Okay. Don't mind me. Okay, these guys are much more stronger than I thought, but at the same time, I'm gonna kill them all. You're about to die. What do you have to say for yourself, hmm? Boop. Boop. Goodbye. Killed them. Now we gotta kill everybody else. Instigating converted advanced Kraken. 
Bull Laser Reflex Muzzle deals double damage to targets with full health. That is actually really good. What the heck? What I found so crazy with all these planets we would visit, the planet I was just on had a completely different thing going from fauna to flora. The stuff was unreal, though not as much as my guns were slowly becoming as well. I did come across a gun later inside the facility, but it just didn't feel right. Oh, it's another Grendel. Oh, this one's automatic. What ended the night here, I'm pretty sure it could have ended my life. There's like explosions happening outside. Hello? <gasps> oh! 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 I gotta take a photo of that. I have to take a photo of that. Oh my God, you see this? Look at this. Look at this one. Oh. Can you guess where I went after that? No? Well, let me give you a few hints. One's red and the other one was a sacred city underwater. This is for some other district? Today, okay. Interesting. I just applied for a job. That's, didn't expect that. Literally just thought it was a silly thing. Just before reaching my destination, I was blessed with this gift. Encore! Encore! That's a great voice! <laughs> I love it! I tried a few different moons that were a little barren, though they did have their importance. If there was something I was trying to find by this point, it was a planet that matched my damage and level, if not more. The closest planet to match that was Jaffa, a beast of a world. Ooh, okay. Another foresty planet. This one looks pretty nice so far. I say that right now and then something comes out hunting coral oh my god you see this it's invisible oh it's level 45 i gotta run i gotta run oh crap oh crap oh crap oh crap uh and then this Level 45, baby! I'll kill you. Spectral crab going to die. Level 45. Oh, look at that. I did find some people lurking around the planet, but no one really had much to say other than a few things to either sell or buy. Next on the list of things to do was talking to Sam Coe. This man was back at the lodge in New Atlantis. Ah, this was Samco we were supposed to talk to, okay. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Why does he sound familiar? Is the voice actor, what? Whoa, I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm going to fall asleep before you do. Trust me, don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way, hi, hi. Hey, Corco. Good to meet ya. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Okay. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? She did? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila for a settled planet of the Freestar Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Man, I need to get a bigger ship. If you ship. land on Aquila, it's going to be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passengers. Afterwards, I had more unfinished quests people needed my help with. With what a good Samaritan I was, no way I could say no. First, I needed to visit the United Colonies for both selling and more ammo I could afford. Afterwards, it was back to the scientist who needed more information that yes, he wasn't uh, able to get his hands to... on. This meant we needed to speak to Emilio, yeah, and yeah, of course, he needed something too. This something was inside someone's apartment where we had to break in by the lock. 
load up the computer and delete some files. Both happy and a job well done, I, I think. Next was a lovely lady who worked as a barista, asking for us to get certain ingredients that were locked away. Once we had all we needed, I visited the lady once more and got myself more experience and money. The last quest I tried to finish up was in the wells that dealt with the browns. Reason for all these quests, by the way, and the back and forth, I was looking to save up for a new ship with an entirely new set of everything. The only thing was, I realized a little too late that I needed the piloting skill to actually man the higher tier ships. Remember that, everyone, because I sure will. <laughs> Let me just say, I spent way too much time on this planet. The new weapons we had from the well in Atlantis really gave me the edge and something that went a long way. Super duper sneaky mode. They can't see me. Look at this, look at this. They still can't see me. Boom, baby. 76 HP. Abandoned hangar. Well, nothing abandoned about it. Just you wait, there'll be people. I know there will. Oh, they have like missiles and stuff on them. Okay, maybe it is abandoned. Oh, never mind. And they never saw it coming. Once I was done there, most of my time was spent back in the wilds and looking for more of those weird crab creatures for experience. They really did give a lot. Put it this way. Most side quests would give you 120 experience, usually the lower tiers, and then these creatures could easily give you anywhere from 50 to 70, and it would take seconds to kill. This one thing here today really did mess me up. It, it dug deep, and for some reason, it actually messed with my mental in the real world. I don't know why, but the second I got aboard the ship, Sarah went berserk on me. All right, out with it. What the hell is the matter with you? You want to play this foolish game? Fine. Members of Constellation are held to the highest regard, yet you persist on making poor decisions that reflect badly upon us. If you intend to continue this behavior, then maybe we shouldn't be traveling together. The only way I knew how to unwind was going on another killing spree with these giant bugs, taking in all the experience I could while it lasted. The best part about all of this was finding another survivor. I mean, I felt for the survivor's pain, but now I had an even bigger Can reason to me, go please? experience farming again. I need to get to my ship. Ooh. And I can't do it alone. Got another one of these. Let's do this. Where's your ship? Oh God, far. Okay. Sure for one lifetime. I know the feeling. But not really, because I love that. Although you didn't give me experience, so I didn't love that. Taking my spaceship here and landing it into what seemed to be our first hangar, I had an idea. Now, hear me out. So that definitely wasn't the move to say the least, since that wouldn't work and I needed more new things to creatures and just planets. I began my planet hopping initiative. This would be highlight two and hopefully bring me more joy and stuff to see. Walking down a little dirt pile, I did find a few creatures called Lockjaws. They seemed innocent enough, but now the hunt for more experience raged on inside me. I was on a streak running all around the area looking for as much as I could. Then this happened. Still on the same planet, but a place that felt more full and filled with all sorts of dangerous wildlife creatures. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? What's hitting me? Oh, it's a brain. Whatever this is. One thing I did love about the weapon I had, not only was it souped up for stealth damage, but it had a thermal scope that helped and then some. As we were flying through space, this giant ship flying in front of us looked great for the taking, but I soon realized there were other people aboard. As we were touching down on this new planet, I needed to find whoever was in charge. As all went well, this meant I had to report back with the captain aboard the ECS ship. That doesn't sound so bad. My crew will need to get used to working for a living anyway. This seems... Agreeable. Seeing that we didn't have any of the necessary resources, I found a little planet with this abandoned robotics lab just sitting there. It was time to teach more pirates a lesson. Yep, that was a much higher level. My god, I think like level 24, 30. Next, I found myself near a deserted relay station. Can I just say, most of these places that said deserted or abandoned were never really abandoned or deserted, okay? So close to my goal, I needed to make my way back to New Atlantis. This is what I was looking for. I was looking for the well. The well has a great place, a great selection of stuff where you can sell, buy, 
and I couldn't find it for the longest time. Oh my god, you don't even have a lot. Oh, that's gross. Hold on. No, no, I, I clicked the wrong button. Let's go back. Seal. You, oh my god, just one weapon is like all your money. <laughs> this is sad. You guys need more money. The one thing I never thought would come in handy was me holding boots for a quest, then taking those boots out into space as we travel towards the den, jumping onto the space station, and having the weirdest encounter with a guy who liked boots. After all was said and done, this happened. Oh my god, this place has 11,000 too. Oh, we found two places that are awesome. Okay, this is good. Wait, no, 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 no. Gotta go to sell weapons. We're good on weapons. Look at that. We sold enough. Bam. All right. Once we finished up on the space station, it was back to the other planet for quests we completed prior. XP? XP? <gasps> he gave us XP. Heck yeah. All right. I'll give it to him. Nice. <laughs> Can't tell you how long I've been waiting to add this to my collection. Thanks again. I hope this makes it all worth it to you. Experience. I just need experience, please. The last thing I expected traveling to this next planet was just so crazy and bizarre, but a legitimate location and not just some one-stop shop. There it is, the Red Mile. That's where we wanted to go. Oh my gosh. Look at that, the Red Mile. Have you given any thought to what I asked regarding Cora? That's so cool. I don't know what this is. I feel like it's a place where I can sell stuff. Ah, a fresh runner. We love rookies around here. No one ever you knows what they're rookies. going to do out there, so it makes for interesting wages. But the Red Mile is not for the weak and faint of heart. Do you fully understand that by participating in a run, there is risk to life and limb? Oh, I understand, all right. Good. And are you able to confirm that you are of sound mind? Not under the influence of any substances and not under any form of coercion. Sound body and mind, I am. I'm sober, doing this of my own free will and ready to go. Very well then. Step aside and we'll announce your run. Here we go. Follow the line. All right. Good luck. All right. We got this. Let's do it. Oh, it looks like we're going out. Hold on. That's the case. I'm going to put that back on. Last chance. What do you mean last chance? Workbench, space. I, I, I can't upgrade. I don't have anything right now. Here we go. That was actually kind of tough. So if there's more than that at a time. Ooh. What? What was that? So we just got to make it activate the red mile beacon. Oh, this is going to be fun. I get XP from this. Go for the head. Go for the head because then you're dead. Woo! All right. I thought this would be more XP. Maybe I was supposed to come here at like a different level because I might be a little far ahead. Let's be honest, okay? But still, I like it. I like it. Hello. You got a note there? I'll show them. In just a few days, I'm going to be filthy rich. Aw, oh, man. The look of my friends' faces when I told them I'd be running the Red Mile was priceless. I mean... Rest in peace, lovely lady. Oh, hey! Hello. <laughs> What are you doing? Funny man. Funny man. I feel like this is a trap though. I feel like this is too easy. We hit the beacon and it calls forth something even more. All right, uh, here we go. Let's just grab that, grab that, and beacon. We activated it and now, oh crap, we gotta return? All right, I could do that, I could do that. Wait, is it going up or no? We gotta climb up. Oh, true, 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 dad, true, dad. Look at us go, baby. All right. Someone's got the death wish. My, my. You did not disappoint us in your first run. Your performance down there was most impressive. I do hope you'll consider competing with us again. Now the moment you've waited for. You're winning. Oh, wait, depends on how much I win, I might go back. <laughs> how much? 3,300 and 102 XP. That's actually not bad. Not too bad at all. Today's planet was called Perima, and this would really show my true colors and test my strengths even more. All right, this looks like a actually really nice planet. Oh, what the fudge? We got one thing there, one thing way out there, something close there. Oh, do you see that? It's just like, it's going red. Now, is it going to come after us or is it going to run? 
Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, it's coming. Oh, oh, hello. Whoa. Whoa. Look at the eyes. There's like three of them and everything. Bone frill G5 phage. Hunting Cheopleopard or something. The creatures we found here, honestly, just nightmare fuel. Oh, oh. What is that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I want to take a photo. What the fudge? It's like an octopus spider thing. Look at this. You see this right now? Oh, oh. Found a juicy planet again. Hate it. I gotta run. And then heal. Heal faster, please. Can we heal faster? Thank you. Hey, these are not cool, man. This will kill anything and everything. Look at this. It's a... It creeps. It's they. They thought of the worst. This is nightmare feel. This is absolute nightmare feel right now. They put a spider and a squid. The squid is okay. It was cute and everything. I was like, ooh, cuttlefish, and then I saw the legs and the spider. Mm -mm, no. It was all about killing as many of these things as we could, both because they terrified me, but I also needed the extra experience. Thinking that this cave wouldn't really have much, how badly I was mistaken. Oh god, I don't like how they're in here. Ho ho ho! I know there's this one right here. Hold up, hold up, wait, 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 no, 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 don't go anywhere, don't go anywhere. Dang it, you went somewhere else. Ooh, there we go, we're doing some 40s now, not 7s, okay. The sneak damage, I will be honest with you guys, this actually saves lives. The planet itself was something I needed to remember because of how much it actually gave me. Especially with the daytime here, I could finally see where I was going. This is where I messed up big, okay? Shield breaker. We've got 254,000. I saved up enough for this. Piling skills too low for the ship. Purchase ship for. It's too low for the ship. What? Make home ship. Piling is too low. Okay, how do I. All I could think about doing next was planet hopping in hopes to find more places like our last. Something that just didn't sit right with me was Barrett. Was he still alive? Maybe he was hurt? I needed to know. He's literally just chilling. You really start getting out <laughs> He's just chilling there. Okay. Look at him. He's not Just so nonchalantly chilling. An open mind out there. You go into the far reaches of space. Holy shit! You actually found. Me. We found you. Well, this is turning into a regular constellation party, isn't it? Oh my god! <laughs> this is great. Oh, uh, I don't know why, but yes, are you friends with the pirates? Matsuura the Grim here and I actually have a lot in common. With my priorities straight, it was time to do more digging and find ourselves a planet called Aquila City. Entering the city as we did, something was happening as people gathered around. This is great, what in space? What are you guys, uh, what are you doing? What's going on? You need to stand back now. Hey, it's Daniel. Sounds like you could use some help. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. you must have made some demands by now. Sounds like they got the drop on you. Woohoo! <laughs> the Shaw Gang? It's a big group that hides outside the city and runs smuggling jobs off world. Persuade the bank robbers to surrender? That should be fun. Uh, lie. Can I lie? Because you're not the only one who's had trouble with the law. That, you know what? Let's, yeah, let's do it. I heard that. Okay, so let's talk. Now I have two heroes, Solomon Coe and you. If we wanted to join the freelance fighters, I, I first suggest. needed to prove myself. So if we're going to do a bit of a uh, tracking in that, light them up. Ooh, light who up? What? Ah. 
while proving myself to the city was pretty easy so would be killing this you know outlaw gang member with a big win under my belt daniel personally gave me a deputy's badge that put a big smile on my face okay landing on a new planet we met a farmer who was having issues with some soldiers threatening to take her land guess the only thing to do was to take care of them all right i'm ready i'm ready let's gun some freaking people soldiers well now look who's here not going anywhere until i get some answers you're the one who's gonna leave right now is that so you're gonna eat them i'm not saying that's just silly we've been found out don't let them leave here alive okay you're gonna die buddy wait what are you shooting rockets or somebody else shooting rockets i can tell oh god Ooh, ooh, look at this. Ballistic weapons permanently do 5% more. Oh, that is really nice. Holy crap. My contact on the inside came through and I've got your ship. Grabbed it right out of the factory. How embarrassing for Hope Tech. I'll drop it off at the agreed upon location once credits are in my account. You need any other ships jacked? Let me know. I'm always looking for work. Now with the slate in hand and a new lead, we would make our way back to Daniel to try and figure out where to go next. While floating away in space, we were told to do a rescue the hostage mission with someone aboard the ship. No idea who it was, but that they needed our help. Now this is what I'm talking about, okay? This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a Free Star Ranger. Mm, we certainly could use more of you. Let's get down to it, shall we? Time is money. I'm sure I don't... Promises <laughs> are meaningless. I want the thief found and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. I'm glad we understand each nope. other. Nope, he's sketchy as fudge. Don't no. trust him. Looking into our next lead, this would take us into the better parts of Neon, a place I was so excited for and really curious to see what it looked like and felt like. All right, Billy, Billy who again? Billy Clint, Clayton? I think that's what the name was. I don't know. Neon Core. Well, I will take care of this tower and kill all who stands in my way. Well, that's where you're wrong. Cal agreed to my terms, including collection from family on the event of his passing. In that case, I'll consider the matter closed. You can tell Mr. Clayton he'll have no further trouble from me. As for you, well, I'm aware the Rangers have a reputation for goodness and nobility, but I'm surprised all the same. That was the fastest quest ever, only because I paid him, but man, I just... That was also the fastest a thousand money I just spent, okay? Like, to get into the door and then... Oh, to pay this man? Ridiculous. You... You paid the whole thing off? That's a lot more than I was expecting. With Jalen giving us more information on who stole the ship, we were on our way to the next mark. We started talking with Grace at first, and she really had her guard up. Soon after, learning that an innocent lady was involved, she changed her tone, and we learned a lot more going forward. Heading back towards Aquila City, we would speak with our main man and hand over the decoder, an important device that held everything together and hopefully could decipher the next steps and where to go. Speaking with Daniel once more, he explained more about the two people who were leads and some background information about his relationship with them too. Now I was hungry for more missions. And as for the first one, this would take us into outer space. I'm docking, I'm docking, I'm docking. I want to try to take over this thing. I am so docking right now. Let's try this out. Ooh, got our first ship. We didn't even have to do anything. You just like, look it. All right, you guys okay? I'm glad I didn't, um, like, finish the ship off then. You do your thing. I'm leaving. Are they dancing over there? What is happening? You guys see this? 
They're battling it out, the two of them, side by side again. Landing on another planet, this one would lead me to taking care of a gang leader. One who wouldn't see any of it coming. So close to our next mission, this one would take us into another hideout of sorts and one day out from day 100, okay? With day 100 here, it definitely could have gone better than having to pay this huge whomping lump sum of a bounty. Just goes to show, don't kill your friends and expect no repercussions, okay? It is that time where I say, guys, just thank you so much for being a part of this project, being a part of this passion project. Honestly, normally I don't really go for, you know, many sponsors, many deals and stuff like that. But I just want to say thank you again to Bethesda for the sponsor today. I just can't thank you guys enough over there. Your support means the world to me. I really do appreciate it. I love your faces and I will see you in the next video. This is Ray Pandas signing out. Bye guys. Bye everybody. Bye guys.